Imagine walking home on a cold Halloween night, the only light coming from the eerie glow of jack-o'-lanterns. A chill runs down your spine, the kind that says you're not alone. In a small town where faces are familiar and secrets are hard to keep, the evening of October 31st is met with a mix of excitement and trepidation. It's a night when the veil between our world and the next is said to be the thinnest. On this night, a teenage boy named Sam finds himself on a journey home that he will never forget. Having spent the evening at a friend's Halloween party, Sam decides it's time to head home. His house is just a couple of blocks away, but the quickest way to get there is through a narrow path that cuts through a dark foreboding forest. The path is a well-known shortcut among the local kids, but on Halloween night, it takes on a more sinister persona. As Sam steps onto the path, the laughter and music from the party fade into the distance. Now, the only sounds are his own footsteps crunching on the fallen leaves and the distant hooting of an owl. Suddenly he hears a rustling behind him, his heart pounds in his chest as he freezes in place, straining his ears for any hint of what might be lurking in the darkness. He chalks it up to the wind or maybe a small animal. He continues onward, quickening his pace, but the rustling persists, growing louder, closer. It's as if something, or someone, is following him, matching his pace. The hairs on the back of his neck stand up and he can't shake the feeling of eyes on him, watching his every move. When Sam dares to look back, he sees nothing but darkness. Yet the feeling of being observed doesn't leave him. His breath comes in sharp gasps as he picks up his pace, the path ahead seeming longer and more ominous than ever before. This Halloween night, Sam finds himself in a real-life horror story, where the fear is not in what you can see but rather, in what you can't. But what Sam didn't know was that this path held a dark history. The air around him seemed to grow colder as he ventured further into the darkness, the echoes of the past whispering through the rustling leaves. Twenty years ago this very path was the stage of an unsettling scene. On Halloween night, under the ghostly glow of the moon, a young girl was found lifeless. Her story was as chilling as the autumn wind that swept through the trees. Her laughter, her dreams, her life, all were abruptly silenced. The mystery surrounding her demise was like a puzzle with missing pieces, a riddle that remained unsolved. The path, once a cheerful shortcut used by trick-or-treaters, was now a grim reminder of the tragedy. It was as if the path itself had absorbed the sorrow, the fear, the unanswered questions and the silence of that fateful night. And so, it was deemed cursed, shunned by the locals, its dark history etched into the fabric of the town's lore. Sam, our unsuspecting wanderer, was new to the town, a stranger to the whispers and the wary glances. He was ignorant of the path's past, of the shadow it cast on the town's heart, of the chilling tale that echoed with each step he took. Unaware of the path's past, Sam continued his journey, the eerie feeling growing stronger, the path ahead seemed to stretch into an infinite darkness, a silent witness to the haunting memories it held. Suddenly, the wind howled, snuffing out the light from Sam's phone. In the consuming darkness, Sam's pulse quickened, his breath came in ragged gasps as he fumbled to find the flashlight app. His fingers trembled on the cold screen, a chill that seemed to seep into his very bones. The silence of the night was broken by whispers, soft and insidious, curling around him like a cold breeze. He could feel an icy touch on his neck, making his skin prickle with an instinctive fear. This was no ordinary night, and Sam was beginning to realize he was far from alone. A shadowy figure flickered at the periphery of his vision, an elusive specter that seemed to vanish as soon as he turned to face it. His breath hitched in his throat, his eyes straining in the darkness, searching for the source of his mounting terror. Every rustle of leaves, every distant hoot of an owl, seemed to amplify his fear echoing in the eerie silence of the night. His mind was playing tricks on him, painting phantoms in the shadows or so he hoped. The unseen threat was closing in, a menacing presence that seemed to be everywhere and nowhere at once. With his heart pounding in his chest, Sam finally breaks into a run, leaving the haunted path behind. But the question remains, was it just his imagination, or was there something more sinister at play?